the Jefferson Curl, is a movement that if you were in our regular group classes, you will have seen a whole bunch of times before. It is essentially a very specific and intentional loading of the spine through a full range of motion. And in this case, I'm only using 20 pound dumbbells. You can start this with just your fingertips. You can use a barbell, a kettlebell, any object that you can hold out in front of you is gonna work. Now, there are two main things we wanna to attend to. The first is quad lockout. If as I go down, my knees bend, well, I basically lost the stimulus. I may feel a little bit, but I'm not going to actually get the adaptation I'm looking for versus being completely locked out. Now that might make you a little apprehensive, a little bit nervous. So I would say start with no weight whatsoever and work to first lock out the quads and then slowly roll down. If you get some sensations, stop right there, come back up. That is totally fine. It might be that you need to undergo 100 reps at this range of motion before your tissues are ready to proceed even down to your knees. Even if you could get down to here, that is not the point. The point is to have a complete bowing structural integrity from the base of my neck all the way down to my calves. And so at some point, I get all the way down. Well, if I can get all the way down with locked out legs, pain free, I've got my fists on the ground, well then I'm ready to load. How much should I load? You could start with five pounds, it doesn't need to be 20. Very, very important though, that my knees stay locked out and I go at my own pace, especially if I've had back problems in the past, or I'm very, very stiff in the back, I wanna make sure that that tissue has ample time to adapt, move, and get the blood flow it needs before I race down and see if I can touch my toes.